Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on October 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and everything else affecting humanity around the world. Giving you an update here, starting here the last 48 hours on our sun. 304 angstroms, and we have some pretty bright active sunspots right now. We have one, two, three, four active sunspot regions looking at the last 48 hours incoming. We do have some pretty big ones cresting around and as well some CMEs that we have been dealing with over the last 48 hours. But as well, we do have a new one on its way and as well a solar flare right there from that sunspot in an outgoing position. So a C-class solar flare headed our way, brought to you by our sun. Looking here at all of the imagery, thanks to Solar Dynamics Observatory. Closer look at the plasma filaments and as well these earth-facing fiery regions. So we did have the plasma filament top left there. And as well, we had a plasma filament here erupt from the sun on the southeast region of the sun. And that's where the C-class solar flare was as well. So pretty active sun to say the least. Looking here, multi-spectrum at all of the events from the past 48 hours. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and as well for subscribing, hitting that notification bell, make sure that you receive all updates. And as well, I want to give shout out to everybody who has decided to become a member. So thank you so much for your memberships. We appreciate your love and support to the channel. Helps continue and further research here with Morning Dew. We do have an earth-facing coronal hole, which we'll be turning in, but more southern region. Looking here at Iswa, the space prediction spiral, you can see that solar flare directed right at Stereo B yet again, but it will give Earth just a glancing tip blow, just a tip. Solar X-ray flux was up to C range today, highest it's been in the past three days. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Looking at a real-time solar wind right now, just looking at here last seven days, you can see that space weather from our last solar flare Solar winds were upwards of 558 kilometers per second. And just look at these graphs. Everything from the phi angle, density, and as well the temperature was all over the place. And then observing here our magnetosphere cut planes for the pressure. And we are certainly under a lot of pressure. We've seen quite a few earthquakes today. If you haven't seen the live stream, it, it was a very busy one today. It started off the day with a 7.3 earthquake. And this has a lot to do with it. The pressure is on. Looking at Lasco 2 here from September 29th up until today, because the regular images are, are not loading, I wanted to give you guys a show here. Lasco 2 of the last few solar flare and coronal mass ejection events that have taken off from our sun. And most recently here, last images, solar flare, C-class solar flare. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, power of 26, 28, kind of all over the place right now. Amplitude of 38, equality, of 13. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it has been very busy as I just said. We're going to get to all of the earthquakes around the world but we're going to start out with the large 7.3 earthquake in Vanuatu that struck at about 2 a.m. this morning Eastern Standard Time at a 535 kilometer depth and then right afterwards a 4.3 at a 561 kilometer depth and a 4.7 528 kilometer depth so very deep earthquake event we are expecting larger shallower earthquakes to follow and here we are 5.7 high high foe tonga 
5.0 here. Papua New Guinea is, well, a 5.5. 4.6 here. Tobilo, Indonesia, 5.4. Tuban, Philippines at a 9-kilometer depth, as well, followed by a 4.6. Moving around the world here, 4.4. Sinabang, Indonesia at a 10-kilometer depth. Northward into the Eurasian Plate, 4.8. Shiyomi, India, as well. Mitinyinya, Malaysia, Myanmar, sorry, as well. The Mid-Indian Ridge, a 5.9. That's right, that's pretty sizable for the Mid-Indian Ridge. Carpathos, Greece, 4.0. As well, 4.6 popping off Mid-Atlantic Ridge at a 10-kilometer depth. There was a minor earthquake that was also reported in Iceland, not being reported here. Minor earthquakes through Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, pretty quiet considering the way it normally is. But then we get to North America here where we saw a sizable 4.0 Stanley, Idaho at a 12 kilometer depth just recently. But as well, some quite concerning large earthquakes here in San Francisco, San Lindro, California, 3.4 and as well a 3.0. That is right in the San Francisco Bay Area, as well a 3.6 there, Mojave, California. Quick look at USGS. We're looking at about 235 earthquakes the last 24 hours. Things have calmed down through Hawaii. Just wanted to show you most recent here, the 4.0, Stanley, Idaho, and as well some minor earthquakes south of Yellowstone National Park, or sorry, north of Yellowstone National Park. A couple of minor earthquakes here through Montana, Pony, Montana, as well Cardwell. But the last few days, it's been pretty active through the Yellowstone area. They've seen about 70 earthquakes the last three days. Minor earthquake to report here as well. Dandridge, Tennessee. Two of them. 2.3 and a 2.6. Hawaii is seeing minor seismicity continue. And as well, the lava lake is still alive and filling up. Looking through Alaskan Palinsa. Adak, Alaska saw 4.7. 4.5 here. Starry, Russia. 10 kilometer depth. Pretty quiet through Japan. Only earthquake here. Japan region. Bonin Islands, 486 kilometer depth. But pretty quiet and waiting for something larger there in Japan. Sizable earthquake here as well in Taraka, Brazil, 5.9 at a very deep 589 kilometer depth. So that's four earthquakes, 580 kilometers and deeper in the last 24 hours. Minor earthquakes here through Calama, Chile, 111 kilometer depth. It has been a very busy stream all day. Please feel free to come in and check it out 24 7 earthquake live stream. Also saw 5.3 there, South Sandwich Islands. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick look here, the last seven days, and there are a lot of <clears throat> elevated rings across the planet. So we can still expect, I do believe, we can still expect a larger and shallower earthquake to follow within the next 24 to 36 hours, especially after the space weather kind of releases the pressure on our planet. So around the world, we've seen lots of movement everywhere, but Africa... And this is all about staying aware and prepared, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in today to Morning Dew, keeping humanity aware and prepared. At the, tame, at the same time, just try to have fun, stay young and have fun at the same time. And much love and prayers for humanity. Big shout out to everybody here. I want to thank you for tuning in to A Dream Come True here on YouTube. Morning Dew here for you have a quick look here pacific disaster center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated and if you haven't seen the volcanic activity report we do have 41 
but there are more now. But we're going to just look at the most recent getting updated, looking at Katmai in the United States. So that's through Alaska, as well as Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, Fuego, Guatemala, Languila, Papua New Guinea, La Palma in Spain, Sabincaya in Peru, Semisnapochnoi, United States, Senge in Ecuador, Luatolo, Indonesia, Kilauea, United States, and as well, Krakatoa. Now, Krakatoa erupted back in 2017, and then way before that was about 300 years ago, the last time we dipped into a mini ice age. Also looking at Kulchevskoy, Russia, Simeru, Indonesia, and Nevadas de Rules in Colombia. So that's about 15 volcanoes getting updated today. And we have an active and erupting 41 reported in the last report. Hurricane Sam is still alive after 10 days. And it looks to be about 5 days of Category 4 winds. As well, we've got Tropical Depression. Victor, who is alive, heading into the middle of the Atlantic. And look at the forecasted track for Hurricane Sam. That's going to be heading straight into Iceland in the long-range forecast. That's right, more storms heading towards the North Pole. And as well, there's going to be more cyclones heading towards the South Pole. So, heads up, everybody. Five-day forecast here, brought to you by Meteor Earth, and as well, daily events worldwide, starting out here, home base, Ontario. As we've seen some cool temperatures move in, but then slightly warm up, and we're going to dip back again with some cool weather and as well some rain over the next few days. But then watch for that to switch again as we have a big low coming out of the Gulf. Going to warm things up and as well bring more moisture. But it'll be pretty scattered showers throughout Ontario this week and as well the United States, southeast regions. Overlooking western Canada, we do have quite a snow event developing through the Alberta foothills and as well parts of northern Alberta. Big low north of you coming out of Alaska. And there's another one in the long range. So heads up, winter is right around the corner. Looking here at the track of Hurricane Sam, just missing Newfoundland. But five-day forecast shows it just about at Iceland. That's insane. Overlooking the Atlantic, Big moisture band coming off of Africa, Europe, the United Kingdom. We do have that big low pressure system I talked about in the last video. Lots of rain and winds associated with that. But then long range here, watch for things to really kick up through the Mediterranean. You will see a stormy week ahead of you through Italy and parts of France into Austria. Overlooking Russia. Big low pressure system here, bringing in lots of cold weather and a lot of snow. Parts of northeastern Russia and as well, eastern Europe. Big high pressure ridge locked in place there. And then we have a tropical storm, Gulab, who came back to life and is now in the Indian, Indian Ocean heading across Iran. That's right. Tropical cyclone Gulab comes in. To Yemen this week and then fades away we'll see where that goes in the long range forecast but definitely some strange things across the world here with this forecast and as well lots of rain through the Philippines this week big low pressure system heading into Merida no typhoons to talk about just a lot of rain for South and North Korea Then overlooking Australia, things are starting to warm up from the north downward. But still some pretty cool low pressure systems affecting most of southeastern parts of Victoria. Dry throughout though. And then overlooking Pacific, some pretty big systems coming out of Russia this week. Going to just swing around the North Pole. Some definite changes coming, folks. Winter is right around the corner. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavy at times through Brazil. Big low pressure system coming out of 
Argentina and Brazil this week. So watch for extreme weather on the border there. Overlooking Africa, no major weather events to talk about. No major systems, except for possible Gulab in the long range. That's right. I said it. These storms are going to some strange places. And thank you for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems spinning, raging across our planet right now. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. I am here for you. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world